Are you curious as to what the percent compositions of iron and chlorine are in iron 3 chloride? Well, neither am I. But that's what I'm going to teach you. So first, we're going to find the total mass, then we're going to find those percents. Take a look. Bam. So the first step of the process is to write down the elements that we see in the compound. So it's going to be Fe for iron and chlorine Cl. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So if there's not a subscript there, you must write in a 1. And that means that there's one iron atom. For chlorine, then, it's going to be 3. There are 3 chlorine atoms. Then you're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. These masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Here's iron's mass, 55.85, and here's chlorine, 35.45. So that's what we're going to write in. 55.85, and then 30. 5.45. To then find the total mass of the element in the compound, just simply multiply this row and across. So that's simply going to be 55.85 for iron. And then for chlorine, it's going to be 106.35. And then to find the total mass of the compound, guess what? You're going to just simply sum up those total masses of all the individual elements. And there's going to be 162.20. And this was that first step, right, to find the total mass of the compound. So now that we've found the total mass, we can easily find those percents. I'm going to add a column to the table. You'll see how nice and easy this is. Bam. So to find the mass percent or percent composition of iron, we're simply going to take the total mass of that iron in the compound, 55.85. And then we're going to divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, the 162.20. Hence why we had to do that first. All right. And this is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. So when you calculate that, it's going to work out to be about 34 34.43 percent. And the same process then for chlorine. Total mass of chlorine there is 106.35 units of mass. It doesn't really matter what units you use, gram per mole or AMU, they're both going to cancel. So just leave the units out. Save yourself a little space and a little energy. And the percent here then will work out to be 65, 65.57 uh, or so percent. And what should happen if you wrote this down correctly, it didn't make any silly mistakes, which we're all human, but if you were to do that, it would be 100%, all right? And it works out. Thanks so very much for tuning in, all right? I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you can like and subscribe, we would so be grateful. Um, it definitely helps us out tremendously. We're really trying to put out as much as we can. We've got thousands of videos out there for you, different subjects. We want to really help you through all your classes here, all your science classes, all right? Thank you very much.